Libra Chicas. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a grocery haul, a low carb grocery haul. I'm not going to be calling myself keto anymore. I just don't feel like I have the right, but um, I'm going to be showing you my low carb grocery haul. I'm trying to be quiet because my son and my husband are sleeping upstairs, but I do want to show you everything I got. So let's go see. This is kind of crazy, but I have like stuff laid out. I just figured it'd be easier to have some of it laid out versus like showing you a million different places in my house. So we got two packs. Well, actually I went by myself today. So I picked up two packs of these sugar-free cherry jellos. You guys see these all the time. One is in the fridge right now. I got two plus bars because I have work tonight and tomorrow night before the next time I shop. So. I'm getting back on low carb starting today and I know it's going to be difficult for me to see food there so I have to have something easy to bring with me so I got the birthday cake and the white chocolate raspberry. Now a huge thing that is so important for me personally and my husband to do when we are getting back on the low carb diet or a lifestyle after cheating for a whole weekend or a week or whatever it was is I need to make sure that I have plenty of snacks and mostly desserts i need to make sure i have plenty of desserts because that's the hardest thing for me is getting off of sugar i love sweets so much you guys know that i love desserts i love bread it is very very hard that's probably the hardest part for me so i like to have a lot of options to make sure that i'm not gonna go and stray off the low carb so that is why you're gonna see a lot of desserts right now so the Lily's bars were actually on sale. They're normally $4 a piece, but they were $2.50. So I got four of them because I think a serving is half of a bar. Yeah, so half of the bar is a serving. So two, four, six, eight, if you really think about it. And my husband and I, we like to have something sweet after our lunch and after dinner. So that's just how we are. <laughs> so I picked up salted almond, two of these, and then two of these salted caramel. It's all in milk chocolate. So those are my two favorite kinds of bars. Got some for me and some for him. I also picked up the whole earth sweetener. I love this for my coffee and I was out of it. I also picked up this Tirani sugar-free vanilla syrup because I was out of it. And also I like to sweeten up my too good yogurt because the too good yogurt is not very sweet. I also picked up these Russell Stover's sugar free made with stevia extract toffee chocolates, and these are so good. I just recently tried them, and I just need to have grab and go sweets everywhere so that I won't get off of the low carb. I also found this on sale. This is interesting. I do have dry shampoo, but sometimes it makes my hair super dry and dehydrated. And this one says, this one is by Tresemme and it says between washes style refresh. And it's a regular pump, not an aerosol. And it says it's an all-in-one spray for hydrating, smooth and protection. So I thought that was interesting and this will be more of a wet formula so I wonder if it'll make my hair smell good in between washes and not as dehydrated as dry shampoo does. So I want to try that and it was only $2.47 originally $4.94. So. Um, this I just got for free. This came for free with a Hellman's mayonnaise. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I also got this bread for free for the kids the coupon they had at H-E-B so not for me obviously I got a can of tuna because it is always a safe bet to just have this in the cabinet if we don't know what to make or we need something for lunch so I got that it's the big double can for my snacks I got almonds I love crunchy almonds so I decided to pick these up I haven't had them in a while Got another uh, no sugar added Heinz ketchup and these were actually on sale. And of course, you know, I have to get a bunch of low carb tortillas. That is super important to us. Um, that is why I call myself low carb versus keto because real keto people would not approve of this. But so I got two packs of the Mission Carb Balance Whole Wheat tortillas. These are fajita size and they are two net carbs per tortilla. So I got two of those. And then I got this one for um, 
a lunch or a dinner and it's gonna be a chicken BLT wrap. So I figured I would try this one. They're a little bit bigger and it's spinach and herbs, just like something a little different, you know, to make it exciting. It's four net carbs per tortilla and for the lunch I'd probably only have one because it's gonna be so filling. It's gonna have chicken, avocado, tomato, lettuce, and mayo. So that's a meal I have planned. I also picked up two pounds of coffee because I'm going to be making my own coffee this week. I'm not going to take myself to the coffee shop because last week I was buying a lot from the coffee shop and I was like, no, 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 I need to stop doing that. The money really adds up. So I got another mayonnaise, but I realized I had a whole mayonnaise in here, so I didn't need this, but I bought it. I got a Spam. This is for a Spam and cauliflower fried rice meal that I'm going to be making. I also got a bag, a bag, a bag of pork rinds. You know what I just realized? There's also an unopened ketchup in the cupboard. Whoops. Well, it's not like we don't use it all the time. We're gonna use it anyways. All right, it's time for the fridge. It looks pretty empty, I know. But we have two things we're doing this week, and it's dinners, so I didn't need as much meat as I usually do. I think I have to throw this out, because it's like turning brown. This is from like last week, and um, I don't think we used it in time, but I'm not sure yet, so I'm going to ask hubby. This is something really exciting I found, and I want to try it, and if I don't end up drinking it a lot, my kids love lemonade, but this is the Minute Maid Zero Sugar Lemonade, and I thought like, you know, if you're bored of water and you're craving something, this could be good, but not only that, you could put this with like tequila and maybe make a low-carb margarita, so it's one net carb for, or one carb for eight fluid ounces, so no sugar i don't know if it's gonna be sweet or not I'm not really sure and i also got another almond milk back there that's a brand new one your jello pack and then the two good yogurts at heb were on a coupon for five for five dollars so i picked up three strawberries two vanillas and one of these mixed berries uh, we already had this pack of eggs that was basically full, so I just picked up another dozen. I picked up some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and this is five pounds. This is going to be for um, an orange chicken dinner using the G. Hughes orange chicken marinade. I also picked up some ground beef, about two and a half pounds. Picked up some minced garlic. Of course, two bangs, the candy apple crisp. I really like this one. And I also got sour heads. And I also got this one, which I'm drinking now because I needed life. Picked up another whipped cream because Heavy likes to put that on the jello. Of course, another heavy whipping cream. I got some blueberries because they have been on sale and they're so good even if you just have like six of them they're so delicious and fresh and my daughter's been loving them too i got tomatoes for the chicken blt this pack of green leaf lettuce for the chicken blt i got two large haas avocados And then I got some green onion to go in the fried rice with the Spam that I was telling you guys about. I picked up two packs of bacon. This is going to be partially for breakfast and the other part for the chicken BLT. Got a block of medium cheddar because I like just snacking on this, but we also shred it up on top of our eggs. One more pack of cream cheese. Got a bag of frozen chicken breast tenderloins. Got a manufacturer coupon for a dollar off of two green giants. So I got a regular cauliflower rice and then a cauliflower medley for the um, spam fried rice. I also got some frozen broccoli for the chicken broccoli alfredo I'm gonna make this week. 
here is the exciting part please excuse my messy fridge um, my messy freezer it looks crazy in here but they had a bunch of new flavors of rebel at my uh, HEB store so I got the black raspberry because it looked delicious and then I also picked up the chocolate for my husband because I know he likes that one and lastly we got our orange water this had zero everything but it is sweetened orange flavored uh, sparkling water I always like to pick these up for making my coffee and then we got the Gatorade zero sugar Glacier, what is it called? Is it Glacier Freeze flavor of Gatorade? So here was my meal plan kind of for the week if you want to see it. It's just like a rough draft just to like give myself some ideas. But for breakfast, it would just be any types of eggs, bacon or sausage, um, a spinach smoothie with protein powder and then like coffee because sometimes I don't want a breakfast. Lunch would be the BLT chicken wrap with bacon, lettuce, tomato, chicken, mayo, low carb, and avocado. The Spam fried rice with the Spam cauliflower rice, green onions, some egg, butter, and soy sauce. The dinners will be the burger in a bowl, ground beef, tomato, lettuce, cheese, mayo, ketchup, mustard, pickle. Chicken Alfredo, I make my own Alfredo sauce with butter, garlic, and heavy whipping cream and Parmesan cheese, which I have all of that the broccoli and the chicken, and then orange chicken is gonna be with the G. Hughes orange chicken marinade, like I told you guys, cauliflower rice. That's what I'm using the boneless, skinless chicken thighs for. And then some green onion. And then for the snacks, I have my Quest bars, pork rinds, almonds, cheese, the yogurt, but also the yogurt goes for desserts, whether it's Lily bars, the ice cream, the yogurt, or the sugar-free jello. And that way, I can just like have a general idea of what I'm doing for the week so okay guys so that is it for like the exciting keto stuff everything else was for my kids or just random stuff that is not interesting for the video but I hope I gave you guys some inspiration or some help if you were stuck on meals I know before I went grocery shopping I had to go watch a bunch of keto low carb what I eat in a days because I just didn't know what I wanted to do this week but also we have two different plans that were well we have the Super Bowl coming up and then we have my grandmother's birthday this weekend so I didn't really need that much food and I also just wanted to be kind of cheap with everything I bought I spent only like 186 but the kids had so much food left over from last week that I barely had to buy them anything so Anyways, that is it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one.